Ada for being into my wife's affair partner. My wife and I have been married for four years and have been together for 11 years. We do not have any children. Things have been going well, with both of us being really loving. We are both quite honest with one another, discussing our wishes and desires. We discussed bringing in a third party and agreed that it should be someone we both like. She is but I am not, so being with a woman seemed less daunting. We also agreed to have in the same room as another couple, but without touching them. So monogamy is a little soft for us, but we've never taken any attempts to open our relationship. I felt we were open and honest about pretty much everything. We just began hanging out with a couple as friends. My wife informed me that the male half was flirting with her and asked whether I was comfortable with her flirting back. I told her that was okay as long as it was just for fun and the girl was aware ahead of time. Fast forward to the present day, and it has progressed beyond that. Surprise! After approximately a week of leaking information, I discovered that they progressed from making humorous remarks, which I consented to, to emailing nudes, and grabbing my wife's, although they both claimed she told him that was too far and stopped it. Nonetheless, they first denied everything, and my instinct tells me they did more. I forgiven my wife after we went through relationship counseling, even if I don't trust her as much as I used to. Kudos to her for answering challenging questions without hesitation and working on our marriage. Now, the second couple has contacted me, stating they want to meet and discuss everything. I was polite to the girl but said no. I reacted when the man contacted me please do me a favor and do not contact me again. It escalates into a brawl between myself and my wife. I'm not sure whether you're wanting to my wife again or if you're really remorseful for my wife behind my back, but I'm not going to be played again. I was wondering whether he would reveal anything else. Instead, my wife receives a text message from his girlfriend, who is outraged that I accused them of damn snitch. I'm now being accused of being a jerk. Edit. It seems that a few more information are required. Update. First and foremost, we agreed to have flirtatious comments. We also agreed that and nudity were inappropriate, and she should have alerted me when he grabbed her. To be fair, my wife did say to the girlfriend, Me and your boyfriend have been flirting a bit. I don't want you to think I'm trying to steal him, and if you're not comfortable, I'll stop. Regarding their limits, I learned about them when the girlfriend ordered us not to contact them again after the boyfriend admitted how far things had progressed and he reportedly has a history of cheating on her. Please keep in mind that the girlfriend was the one that reintroduced communication. She believes that if we can all become friends again, she will be able to forgive and go on. These are her words, not mine. Second, the reason for my text was that my wife and the man were supposed to have broken off communication, but it took her five days to do so after I requested and stated it was either me or him. Only a few hours before my wife had the same idea, I got a text message from him asking for us all to meet. This raised a red flag for me and got me angry, so I responded with that reply. His girlfriend subsequently informed me that she recommended the idea to both of them that day after I started ignoring her text wanting to meet. Third, I have no proof of them having intercourse, and they both swear on their lives that nothing else, not even a kiss, occurred. After I sent the SMS, my girlfriend contacted my wife and me, assuming I had discovered fresh information. If I keep assuming they had, I could end up being the fourth. We did go to therapy, and the therapist said she didn't believe anything further could be done, and that as long as we kept communicating, we'd be okay. We just attended two sessions, but we met every suggestion from the therapist and began to feel normal. I believe our previous talk about open relationships helped us understand each other and recover faster, but not completely. Fifth, we are not, and have never been, in an open relationship with each other. My wife is well aware of my limitations. Story 2. My husband, 26, suddenly broke up with me, 27, after being together for six years. I believe I simply require an outburst and the advice of others at this point. After five years of being together and living together, we've been married for more over a year and have two children. We've had a really strong friendship and emotional connection since the beginning of our relationship. We worked as a team, as equal partners, on this project. As my closest friend and best supporter, 
He was someone in whom I could place my trust while also feeling comfortable and accepted. In my mind, I believed I was the same type of guy he was. My partner sought a greater level of seclusion. His full-time work necessitated him spending time alone or playing video games in his spare time. For years, I fought with it and begged for more alone time, but I finally came to terms with it and started to be more self-sufficient with my free time. However, we continued to spend time together, went on excursions and vacations, and visited with friends and family, just not as often as I'd want. But in the end, everything was okay with me. We were also having problems with our lives at the time. I have a far lower libido than my partner and am able to decline advances on a regular basis. He was often let down, but I think he eventually came to terms with it. I recently inquired as to whether he wanted to have relations with me, and he flatly refused. It just provided comfort in the knowledge that maybe, just perhaps, we have finally synchronized our schedules and are both content with the results. I was entirely and utterly wrong. My husband was always attempting to communicate with me about his desires and emotions, but I believe I was just not interested or attentive enough. He indicated a desire for more intimacy with me, to which I responded, sure, let's work on it together. Things returned to normal after a time since I didn't give up about them anymore. We had a fantastic trip last month and had a terrific time together. We intended to relocate to a new apartment as soon as possible. We discussed how we would celebrate the new year and the holidays. We discussed our future vacation plans. We intended to see our relatives since we reside in a different nation. We thought about getting a cat. We don't have children and don't want them. Yes, we relocated twice in these six years. Then there's another city and then another nation. My spouse abandoned his prior life and friends in the place we moved from when we relocated to another nation in March of this year. Everything seemed to be in order. Yes, he missed them, but he also seemed to be enjoying his new life in a better nation. He had to travel on a business trip to the city where we used to live two weeks ago. He also wanted to visit relatives and friends for the first time since moving. I didn't want to accompany him since I work full-time in an office and assumed it would be a brief vacation for a week, nothing significant. That's when everything started to go south. He said that seeing his pals affected him so strongly that he began to reevaluate his whole life, what he wants and what he requires. He eventually began to reconsider our connections as well. He claims to be going through a personal crisis and wants to experience what it's like to be alone. He said it was difficult for him to make the choice to end the relationship, but he also stated that he no longer sees a future with me and is miserable. I begged if he could give me one more opportunity to put things right, but he stated he had given me many opportunities before and nothing had changed. He's given up and wants to move on. For me, that's the most repulsive element. I understand him and what he is going through, accept his reasons for leaving, and I want him to be content. But, I still think we were intended for one another since we complement each other on so many aspects except, and I'm prepared to accept his need for greater personal space. It's only, I had the impression that we were working as a group. Both of us are looking in the same direction, having the same desires throughout life. Two grown-ups decide to work together in order to be better and stronger. We seldom argued with each other last year, and it seemed that we had finally begun to accept and love one other even more. He was there for me to the very end. He continued calling me by our adorable nicknames, Remain committed to assisting me in every manner possible, that's why this unexpected breakup stings so profoundly. He stated it wasn't out of the blue since he had had similar feelings for a long time. I believe I need treatment to organize my thinking. Thanks for reading.